going to learn how to add waypoints and make routes on iNavX for the iPad and for the iPhone. So the first thing we do is come up on the chart and go to the area of where we want to add our waypoints and route. Okay, we're going to go up to Setup, upper right hand corner here, and we're going to scan down and look for Show Waypoints. That we're going to turn on. Okay, because we want them to show once we've created them. Now, in this, you notice they all pop up here, every waypoint we've laid down in the past. Okay, making routes and uh, making waypoints and routes. But we're going to navigate from Fossil Bay here uh, over to uh, Prevost Harbor down here on Stewart Island. And uh, this is in the San Juan Islands up here in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. So let's start in. We're going to zoom in here first to Fossil Bay on Susha. All right. I'm using a pogo. You could use your finger as well. I just like this for it's just a little bit more accurate. Okay, so I'm going to start inside the bay here and add my first waypoint. So I'm going to double uh I'm going to single click on the uh, chart, all right? That brings up a pop-up. Okay, that gives me various things I can do, but in this case I want to click in the upper right hand corner on waypoint okay notice that added in a waypoint and I like where it's at okay now I'm going to add my next waypoint to get out of the harbor I'm going to come down about here don't worry if uh, it's not where I like it I can always move it there's my second waypoint okay I'm going to zoom out all right now I've got to make it over to uh, uh, Prevo. So I've got to make it through this whole mess here. I'm going to tap just about here. If I don't like it, I can come back and change it. I'm going to add my waypoint. All right. Then I'm going to pan down over here to um, uh, Stewart Island and uh, in here to uh, uh, Prevost Harbor. Okay, so I'm going to end up coming. Here's where I'm going to enter right about here. Okay. Add my waypoint. It's a little too far zoomed out for me to figure out what's happening. Okay. Right, there's my waypoint. Now I'm coming down in here. I'm going to add another waypoint right about here. Okay, add waypoint. And my final waypoint is going to be right here. Okay. There we are. Now I'm zooming out. I'm going to go back. Okay. Because now we're going to turn all those waypoints we just added into a route. Okay. So first thing we have to do is create a route. To do that, we go back down here to the bottom menu bar and we click on routes. Up in the upper right, these are the routes I've created in the past. Up in the right upper right hand corner is a plus sign. That's to, to create a new route. Tap on that. Notice that iNavX gives it a temporary name. You don't have to change it, but in this case, we're going to erase that name. And we're going to call it, I'm going to hit the uh, uppercase here and call this Fossil Bay. Okay, so I'm all done with that. So I'm hitting Roots. That takes me back to the Roots window. Fossil Bay to Prevost Harbor. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make some routes. All right, so we had our waypoints in there. Now it's just a simple matter of adding them on and forming a route. So we double click on the waypoint, the first one. Notice it says here in this pop up that comes up add WP0016 to route Fossil Bay to Prevost. The only thing I did different is I double clicked on uh, that uh, route label or the waypoint label. So this is going to be my first waypoint in the route. Okay, I've just selected him. I'm coming down here, double click. The pop-up comes up, add waypoint 24 to route. Okay, I'm selecting him. There's, If you can see it, there's a little blue dotted line that joins the two. Now, let's move over here. Okay, I'm picking up that next waypoint we put in between here. Double click. Okay, add to route. Okay, we're doing great. I'm coming down here now and towards my destination. I'm going to pick up this waypoint right here. Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
double click, add to root, here's my next one, double click, add to root, and coming down here on the final, double click, and add to root. That's all you have to do. iNavX has saved the root program. Now, what I like to do on the way back is just make sure that I like how my root laid out. I want to make sure I'm not accidentally hitting rocks. And remember, you're putting these roots down for the worst conditions. Like if you were going out at night or blind in fog or rough weather or whatever, you want to make sure that uh, if you follow that route uh, exactly as you laid it out, uh, you would be safe. So I'm going backwards. Oop, I'm a little bit close here. I don't like that. So what, what do I do to move the waypoint? Single click on the label. You notice it turns gray. Now let's just pull it down a little bit. I'll pull it just about like that. Okay. And click anywhere but there, but in the label. Blow it up. Check it. Yeah, we look good. I think we're fine. Oh, maybe we can move this down just a little bit. Single click. Move him down. Now you can relabel these waypoint labels, you know, to any word you want to call them and uh, at any time. But for right now, that's fine for us. Okay, we've just gone ahead and made our first route. I'm going to pull out here check everything everything looks good okay I always like to have one look and you'll note all of our waypoints are all listed well we can't have that so we go back up to setup okay where we had turned on uh, all the waypoints before we're going to turn them off we're going to hit save and what that does is only shows the waypoints that are associated with the route we're going to right now so it cleans up the screen okay so what do we do to save that route in case something were to happen? We go back down here and hit Waypoint. Okay, This is assuming you have an Extraverse account, which I highly recommend that you, you have. And now we're going to uh, export that uh, route we just made. Okay, and we're going to hit, we have Export Waypoints or Export Route. We're picking Route. Okay, And it says Export Fossil Bay to Prevost Harbor. Yes, we want to. If we pick KML, it would display on Google's Maps as well as on iNavX. But in this case, we're going to pick GPX. Okay? Export successful. We've saved it to the rest of the list of our routes. Going back. Going back to chart. And we are good to go.